Hi there, welcome back. In the last lecture, we have developed a basic HTML template for your website with the help of ChatGPT. In this lecture, let us try to develop a rich look responsive website template with the help of ChatGPT. And let us now start asking for the same. Okay, I am asking, can you help me with the basic website template using bootstrap and html also please make sure to have sign up and sign in buttons at top right side of the html okay that's my question guys let me submit it okay it is it is writing meanwhile let me open visual studio code here under web underscore dev directory let us create home one dot html file and hit enter just like that and let's go back to chat gpt and see how it is going to complete our task it is writing it takes time guys because it is going to be a huge file because writing css3 html bootstrap and you know scripts everything inside this file means it's going to be huge don't worry let's try to get it done using its help Okay, it has completed writing means it did not create a now bar okay no worries let me go upside let me copy this code go to our visual studio code and uh, control v paste it here control s let me go to that folder here this is a home dot one and double click on it if you can see here a uh, sign up and sign in buttons came but it is missing now bar okay don't worry let me ask Can you rewrite with the now bar as well? Okay, as well with the rich look and feel. Okay, let's see how it is going to respond. This is good because it has used of now bar, sorry, bootstrap. Let us wait, guys. It takes time because sometimes it has to understand. Yeah, now it started. It takes time now. It has to write a now bar with the bootstrap applying theme for every item which includes many things actually let us wait and see Okay, it's continues to writing as I said uh, it is applying style for every button and every element of that HTML let's hope it is going to be a huge file and uh, comparing with this previous item a template this should be more colorful and uh, it should be having rich look interface I believe
it's writing wow that's the beauty of chat gpt it it actually you know trained with the more intelligence It's writing, writing, writing. Wow. This time it has added a contact now, now bar item. And at the right side it is putting, you know, see, sign up and sign in. Guys, it, while it is writing, right, if it's stuck somewhere, you just have to, you no know, type continue writing. That's it. I'm, I'm waiting for that option to come actually. I'm eagerly waiting for that option to come, but it is not coming. Let us wait. If it stops here, then we just have to type continue writing. That's it. It will continue to write that previous, you know, from where it has stopped. So from that point, it will start writing. That's the intelligence of ChatGPT. Okay, it stopped right let me write continue writing okay that's it it will continue from here where it stopped how i know you know he did not close the html tag here this is a you know body tag here it opened right there should be a you know forward slash and body that, that means that it is closed see now it is writing continuously here now, now that now bar is closed inside that body and it is continue to writing another do tag by saying some content in the section of that body in the middle section of that body let's wait i will show you so it is continue to writing the scripts inside the body itself means when a html file is loading within the body itself it is trying to load the, all the script files okay now if you can see this html tag is closed that's the beauty of chat gpt let's go up sorry move up move up just like that copy this code and uh, go to your visual studio code here let us replace completely control v and here it should start right just like that okay let me go back to this go down and see from here we want that right go to here and control v okay if you observe it's open and closed now that's all about this and uh, let me go back to that folder let me double click on it wow that's the beauty now it looks it looks crazy though i i'm looking for this sort of you know beauty okay now if you click on home nothing happens nothing happens nothing happens sign up nothing sign in nothing learn more nothing right but when i click on sign up or sign in it should populate a form sign up form or sign in form right let us try that and uh, after that let's close this lecture okay okay let me go back can you help me with sign up and sign in forms sign in forms and when a user clicks on clicks on sign up or sign in buttons the form should pop up okay let me submit this and see how it is going to work yeah, it started working on the command that we passed okay it is going to you know building the entire html again so it means it is going to take time no worries let's wait it's 
so this basic one which we no need but this looks a bit bit nice than the previous one which we developed and let's see here it's writing let us wait until it completes okay it is writing now bar now okay it's continue to writing okay it is giving it is it is creating some model forms with the help with the help of uh, bootstrap okay good let us wait and see okay it stopped writing so let us write continue writing okay and hit that enter button so it should start from this h5 see it is started from there only let's wait and see how it is going to develop everything for us wow in the form it is taking you know username field and you know the email field mm -hmm. That's good. The password field and the submit button, it seems. Well, confirm password as well. Great. That's cool. Hey, meanwhile, let me create a new HTML file here because I am suspecting something that it is missing now over in this uh, newly updated version of a HTML file. So I am putting a test.html, okay? Let us see how it is going to uh, build it and uh, see. So it is writing still. Okay, it is writing still. Okay, I think this is for sign in. Yes, sign in email and you no, know, like that it is putting. And meanwhile, let me go up, let it complete its task. Okay. I just don't want to waste your time. So copy this code, go here, control V, and it is continue to writing here from this H5 only. So you can remove this actually. Okay and go back to there and uh, let's see what it is okay it has stopped let's give command continue writing okay oh it's saying error an error occurred okay let me try till here what it is what it has written okay good good this is the reason I had uh, taken the test you know, file. Don't worry. Let us see how it looks like if we execute this. Let me go back to here and see how this test looks like. Okay, learn more is good and sign up. Nothing coming, sign in, nothing working. Okay, don't worry. So somewhere it has stopped. Okay, let me go down. It is saying regenerate response. So another record is if this issue was please contact through the help center at uh, help.openai.com. I think something wrong with the connection maybe. Let me refresh this page, means re-login and take this, you know, from your feed, okay? So take this, it will go here till, okay, here, no, 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 till the end, okay? Here, let us start saying continue writing. Okay, let us see whether it is going to continue writing from this. Yes, it is. 
that's more intelligent than anything here wow this function was not there that's the reason when you click on these buttons you know nothing is happening because these are a clickable button see if you move your cursor it is just you know pointing that button just like that and here see here also uh, there are no actions behind these uh, html elements so nothing moves up so if you each time clicks on it you know and hash will be you know appearing in the in this url let me go here and sorry here wow it's completed now see just because of this java javascript functions missing in our code nothing is working let me paste it there control s okay let me go to the browser and this is the test html okay let me run it let's see how it looks like oh it's loading now let me click on sign up that's a beauty guys that's the beauty i was looking for how it looks like right beauty right wow if you click on sign in then it comes just like that wonderful isn't it do you really like this guys this is what i was expecting okay uh that's about all this lecture i hope you liked it a lot please try to you know design yourself try to explore more and try to you know get the more 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 you know functionality unveil unveil the power the powerful features of you know chat gpt just by you know playing with around it just like what i did in this lecture okay i hope uh, we are at the end of this lecture and even this section too okay see you in the next lecture our next section thank you so much guys